Okay, so uh, say that we have two infinite positively charged plates with uniform charge density, let's say sigma, and we can say that sigma 1 is equal to, to sigma 2, okay? They are placed in the x, y, z coordinate system, and let's say that you want to find electric field at point P, at any x, okay? Uh, first of all, before moving on, uh, we know that these two plates are infinite, and they're positively charged. Now let's imagine how the electric field would look like between them on the right side, on the left side. Uh, first of all, let's say that this is the A region. This in between them, let's say is a B region. And this is a C region, okay? Now, let's say that whatever is on the right side will be the positive and whatever is pointing to the left it will be the negative, okay, for the electric field, so for the E. Now, let's draw electric field line uh, in these particular cases, and then we will also uh, look at the, uh, for the positively charged and for the negatively charged. But, however, sigma, in this case, sigma 2 is equal to the sigma 1, but sigma 2 is negatively charged, okay? So, first of all, let's look at the first case. So, uh, if you take the A region, which is pointing to the left, okay, so what will happen? Things are pointing to the left, we know that this will be electric that is coming from the first plate, and also we have electric field that is coming from the sigma 2, okay? What about in between them? In between them, we know that this will be the E1, and this will be the E2. Okay, and what about the C region? So C region will have what? It will be uh, E2. Then we have also here E1. So as you can see, the electric total electric field in between sigma 1 and sigma 2 will be equal to 0. Why? Because they are pointing, they have same magnitude, but opposite in direction. Okay, so E total in, in between them will be just a 0. Okay. Now, what about in the left one? In the left one, E total will be minus E1 plus, okay, so plus another minus E2, okay? E total in the region A, okay? In the electric field total in region B is equal to zero because they're pointing to opposite direction, but has the same magnitude. So therefore, they will cancel and become zero. Now, what about the electric field total on the uh, C region? It will be E1 plus E2, okay? Now, when you have a charged conducting plate, so how many faces we have? So let's say that we take a separately, just the infant electric uh, char charged plate, so we have, in this case, we have two phases, right? So this is a, this phase will be a, a phase, the other one will be, let's say, a B phase, but that is uh, the same, okay? So that means if you want to find, uh, if you want to find basically uh, the electric field EA of the flux is equal Q in close divide by epsilon naught, right? So in this case, how many faces we have? We have two faces, so therefore we can say E times two faces, which is two are here, is equal E in closed divided by epsilon naught. So therefore you can say that E is equal E in closed divided by two, two A, okay? And epsilon naught. So we can see that, uh, if you want to find electric field total at point P on the C region, then we come to here where E total in region C is equal E1 plus E2. That means uh, we can say that uh, Q enclosed divided by 2A epsilon node plus Q enclosed divide by 2a epsilon naught, okay? Now, uh, 
mm -hmm. then if that's the case then also okay to epsilon node we also know that our sigma charge per surface area is equal q in close divided by area correct mm -hmm. if that's the case then we will end up with e total which is equal q in close divided by area epsilon node and this one gives you sigma so that means sigma divided by epsilon node okay this is the answer for the uh, uh, e total at point p okay now let's consider this case when you have infinite uh, plate which is positively charged and negatively charged and the, the charges are the same but opposite in in magnitude okay so opposite in direction so in this case let's just draw uh, electric field lines so if you again so we're going to take that this region will be a this region will be b and this region will be c okay so if you want to draw electric field line then this will be the negative one so let it's will be e2 because for the sigma 2 and what about e uh, sigma 1 for sigma 1 will be pointing to the this side so sigma 1 and what about inside and in inside uh here will be e2 here will be e one okay then on this side we have this one will be e2 the other one will be e1 so as you can see here there's no electric field on the so electric field electric field on the c region will be equal to zero because the electric field lines are pointing to opposite and they will cancel each other and also electric field in the a region will be also equal to zero because again you know uh, opposite in direction and say magnitude and electric field in region b will be e1 plus e2 so that's it the rest of thing you have to plug it yourself and then you can get the answer